Chevy truck here. They normally come with wood inside. And we've rebuilt the whole internal structure out of steel. Lined up the fenders and had to hammer dolly. Work a couple fenders out on the driver's and passenger side. Today we built a spare tire holder in the wheel well. These are aftermarket tires and wheels, so they are a little bit taller than factory. So we had to open up the driver's side wheel well that holds the spare tire so it'll the door will open. Front visor was completely rotted out. We rebuilt the whole visor, reworked the front windshield. It still opens and closes, I think, four inches. That's the air conditioning. The windows, we made tracks to make the windows go up and down. When the truck came to us, it came on a trailer and all the pieces were flat. The door was laid on top of another door, and the front cowl was on top of the roof, and the roof was on top of the floor pans. And we've erected it, tack welded it, and uh, pretty much built it from the inside out. Started from the outside skeleton, and then reworked backwards, I guess reverse engineered how we uh, make the door strong enough so if this guy ever gets in a crash, he'll live. <laughs> Yee -hee! So this spare tire mount we came up with is from a picture. Took a picture and just imitated it out of some cardboard, just wrapped it over it, made some kind of design that we liked. And uh, took it and cut it all out made it to where we wanted it, perfect. And we transferred it on some metal. Use a little marker. Cut it out, you'll see. Cut it out, a big ass cutoff wheel, big cutoff wheel. So when you use those cutoff wheels, you gotta be safety and wear your goggles. So, I took the radius from the tire and matched the radius. So when it held the tire, it holds it. Uh, secure into the fender. There is a, a bolt that holds the tire into spot. I am going to find out the same lug pattern as the vehicle and transfer that same lug pattern up here so it's one tool will take off your spare tire and your factory rim. You can buy these but for some reason they didn't want it. They wanted a custom made 1935 tire holder. <laughs> I don't know, hammered and dollied and bent on the machine. Created tire holder. <laughs> I like how Chevy moves almost the right, right way.